Hello everyone. Welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. Okay, so today I have four little fish molds. They come two in a set. Um, from Timu, that's where I got them, and I kind of wanted to test this with the. They're like little, I guess, glass colored stones, and I've got two different colors, but I wanted to test it just to see if the UV light would um, cure it, and it did. So let's see here, those two. So I'm gonna do two in the multicolor and then two in this. Hope everyone's doing well today. Oh, I still okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna just put the the little glass right in here. Yeah, I'm not doing a lot with them. Just a few things on here. Let me see if I can get one of these little things here and whatever doesn't stick I'll just brush off because they're not all gonna stick on here so yeah just a little bit but I'm gonna be using mica powders to fill in the rest not mica powder but well yeah mica powder to fill in the rest Like I said, whatever doesn't cure on here, I'm going to just dump back out. I think I'm going to, for his eye, put a little dollop in his eye and use one of these gold sequences. If I can get one out of here. Okay, I guess I'll be using my finger for that. Kind of press it down in there. Okay, so let's see. Do I want this anywhere? I was thinking about maybe some in the little fins here. Let me make sure it's all in here. Good. Like I said, what doesn't set up, I'll just knock over. You know what? I think I will put a little bit in his. Just the little thins right down in here. Even if a lot doesn't stick, that'll be alright. But I think I'll put just a little bit in here. Whatever will stick. And I'm going to just fill it up with this. Kind of knock it around a little bit. Like I said, wherever it sticks it sticks. I need to get a white piece of paper too. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me put a little bit of glue. Well, not glue, but the UV resin. I've got it stuck to my thing. Right in here. Got it stuck to the resin. That way I can move some of them up. Oops, he don't want to stand up for me. All right, you get on up in there. There we go. Well, now it's just sticking to my thing. Get on down there. Okay. I'm going to put it under this UV light here for a moment while I do the next one. Put a good little, oh, I got it bubble. I see you, little bubble. There we go. Popped him, because sometimes the bubbles do come out when you're using the UV resin. Oops. They will be in them bottles. Okay, so I just want to make sure I press this eye in there good. Let me get this one up. Then I'm going to do, oh, oh, goodness, I'm clumsy today, and I probably was just off camera, and I apologize. Yeah. 
All right, so I'll go and put my UV resin right in there. And this one's over here curing in the machine. There go a little bubble. It shouldn't matter. Okay, let me go on and get some of these in here. Like I said, just spread them around and whatever sticks to the UV sticks. Some of them probably won't, some probably will. But whatever stays is what stays. Okay, and we are going to do these two little indentations here. Now, it's a detailed mold. You could really take your time and do some UV resin all in the circles and stuff. But I'm not going to do that today because I didn't want to go for that look. I, I know I put way too much just in that one just now. Way too much crystals. Or crushed glass. I think it's crushed glass. Just colored crushed glass. I think. All I know is it's very pretty. And I did find those on Timu. I think I brought like two containers of them because there's not or might have been even three containers of them because there's not a lot that comes in them as usual with certain things and like I said I'm not really worried about getting a lot in here whatever falls off falls off because I'm gonna just fill the rest up with mica powder in my resin just try not to put them on too thick because I want the UV to go through it. Okay. Try to squish them around. Okay, let me see. I will go on and pull him out. And okay, I will put him in over here. Okay, um, I need a white sheet of paper. Paper. Where'd all my white paper go? Oh, I have to go get one. That way I can dump off the extra crystals. And then I will put it back up under the machine. Lightly tap. Well, maybe they all there ain't that many that didn't stay in it. Okay. Oops. Some stuck to the sides there. Like I said, whatever doesn't come off can stay right where it's at. It's fine with me. It seemed like I missed a few right in there. But you know what? That's okay. Alright, we're gonna call him done. Okay, um, I'm going to do gold eyes on all of them. Even though they'll have different, um, different, um, glass. But I was going to keep their eyes the same. I'm going to do these two eyeballs on this one. And get you in here. I'm using the Let's Resin High Velocity. UV resin. Little sequences. Okay, now this one should be ready. I'm going to just go on and pop these two with the eyeballs in here, under here. Just real quick, like. Oh, yes, I see. He had a little more loose. These are pretty little stones. Whatever they are, they're pretty. They almost feel, well, they look metallic y. That got a little overboard there, but it's skewered on there. It is cured. Okay, so we're going to put these back in here and get started on the next color. You don't want to pop off of there. Okay. And that was the 
mixed color very pretty and then okay which, which yeah I want that one to go there because I got two four different mica powders out that I'm going to use and this is the other one the gold it's like black there's little even hints of some purple in there but mainly gold black or or a grayish green but yeah that's this one so we are going to just go on and get him in here get him all resin fired up here spread it around I where my little spoon run off to oh is my eye crooked on there oh boy push them down a tad bit in there oh no that's the right way let me see oh no it, it that's that's right because it's kind of offsetting he's got little eyeball things around him okay okay and let's see we're going to get these oh I know I've got too much on you okay I gotta go a little lighter so make sure that's gonna penetrate through there I want to make sure it's going to penetrate through the the um, UV the light all right okay kind of sprinkle them in here a little bit and let them go where they want to go oops let them go where they want to go try to push them down in the resin a little bit and like I said, whatever doesn't stick, I'll just dump out. Okay. I'm going to go on and put him in here. All right, buddy. It's your turn now. Let's see. I guess I'll start with the this up here real quick. Oops. Try to push them down in there. I'm not sure how much resin, oops, these are going to hold. I did not measure, but I'm thinking maybe one to one and a half ounce per fish. Because down in here is a little deeper, but the rest is a little bit shallower. So I'm thinking one to one and a half. So what I probably do is just make up five ounces. If I have to make up more, I will, but I think I'm going to just make up five ounces if I have any left over. I can fill up another mold but I'm thinking one ounce per per fishy here that's what I'm thinking one ounce per fishy and hopefully I'm right cuz I, I don't like wasted resin resin is expensive all right now we have the fishbone tail here I'm going to just squish him in here. I started just to do just the fin with this. Just that one little fin. But I was like, nah, he's going to look a little weird with just one fin done with the rocks. So I was like, let me go on and do most of the fins with them. And these are really pretty. Really pretty stones or metal they look metallic but they're very pretty and I will 
add the link as always if hopefully they're not sold out and a little goes a long way okay I'm gonna oops I'm spilling rocks take him out put him in and let me move this stuff out the way pat him very lightly because I do not want to dislodge any of the resin I had a little paintbrush so ooh, about to make a mess that way I can brush some of these off here that is not cured to the resin oops uh, is he part no he's not he's just sticking clinging to everything there yeah he's just a clinger okay and whatever's left in there should be fine okay that's that one very pretty rock or metallic or glass it might be colored glass they're very pretty keep knocking over my resin okay um so once we get this finished actually I want to take my flashlight and just cure the backs of these a little bit I could pr I'll probably just flip them over and put them in here but I'll just go on and throw it in here throw it on here like this in the back <clears throat> actually okay let's see I'm gonna pull him out and I'm gonna just flip him over and put him in the machine backwards while I'm dumping this one alrighty let's try to get the loose ones off most of them cured to it so there's a few ball spots in there, but not a lot. I'm not really going to worry about that. Let me get that off of there. Yeah, see, like, there's a little spot right there, but it'll be all right. It's going to be covered in some mica powder resin anyway. on in there alrighty alright so we're finished with these so I can put these up and like I said I'll put the link to them but they're very very pretty and shiny okay no wait a minute let me keep okay so I want that color with that so I have the Oh gosh doodle hog I forgot the name of it there for a minute and these are the I forget what they call them in this set it's a I think a 52 piece set but it's the there's like four or six of them in the color set that will they're like basically they're like interference powders and the phantom blue is gonna be blue but white yeah you, but we'll see but I just want to use these they have color changing effects you can brush them on but I'm gonna mix them with the mica powder okay so I got number one done on both sides let me turn him over and do him on both sides so I'm gonna just do them cure them on the other side now under the little machine here we're finished with the eyeballs and what I'm gonna do next is once I get all of these cured up on both sides, I am going to oh, I'm going to have a brain freeze. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I can put the top on this. I am going to go on and mix up my I'm going to do 5 ounces. If I have to make up more, I will, but I'm going to mix up 5. 
I'm, I'm, I'm contemplating. I, I'm believing that each one will hold one ounce. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking each one will hold one ounce of resin, but I'm gonna go on and make up five just in case. And like I said, if I have to, then I will make up some more. If I have to. So, um, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to mix up my... I'm going to do regular resin. No four-hour demold or anything. I'm going to just use regular resin. Um, I have the JD Addiction tabletop resin. I'm going to just use that. I'm just going to use that and make up five ounces. Or am I going to use something else? Okay, I'll figure out what I'm going to use in a little bit. But we'll be back once I get my resin mixed up. I'm not going to put it in the, the um, I always call it the debubbler. But the vacuum chamber, I'm not going to put it in the vacuum chamber because we're going to do mica powder inside. I'm wondering if I should use some glitter. With, you know what? I think I'm going to use some of Michelle's Seriously Shimmer. Where did I put it? Glitter. Just a little bit in each, each mica powder. Yeah, that'll just give it a little extra sparkle. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have a little overage here. God, I I don't know if you can see it where it went up the side a little bit. I need to see if I can cut that off without. Oh, where did my thing go? Now I don't even see. Oh, it's right in front of me. Lord, I've got glasses on. I'm still blind. Let's see if I can just get that resin that seeped up the side out of here without okay yeah see how it just seeped up the side a little bit I don't even know how it got up there but it did and this should be fine uh, yeah let me leave it alone I don't want to get no closer because I might dislodge something and that's the last thing I want to do everything's set good so was that the last fish? I think it was. Okay, I'll be back when I mix up my resin. Okay. I'm back. I've mixed up five ounces of the resin. No, no debubbling machine. I used this resin because I wanted to finish off my bottle, even though I still have a little bit more in here of A. All of B is gone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just divide into four different cups, one ounce, let's see, a little bit more, um, you know what, it might take more than one ounce, but we'll just go with, oh, wait a minute, that wasn't one ounce, that was only, okay, there we go looking at the cup thing okay a little bit more okay so that's like one point one and a quarter ounce okay um okay like I said I'm gonna divide these I got two and a half left, so I'm gonna just divide these equally. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's about right. Alrighty then. That's about right. Let me get my spatula. And then we can add the colors to these. I could have just mixed in this one, but it's fine. Could have mixed one of the last colors in this one.
Okay, so we have our four colors, and I'm going to put in each one just a little bit of the Seriously Shimmer. And I do mean just a barely little in each one. Just a barely little. Just enough to give it a little, maybe a little bit more in that one. Okay, that's it for that. And now we're going to do the mica powder. I have opal green. And we're doing the opal green and the phantom blue in the darker colored ones. Give him a nice, probably two nice big scoops here. Get a popsicle stick. And see how it's changing color? That's actually very pretty color. Alrighty. Get him all mixed up. Like I said, I'm not sure how much this is going to take. I'm not sure how much this is going to take each one. You know what? I think I might try something. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But I was thinking about putting a tad of black in here. Get a different popsicle stick. And I do mean just a tad of black black just a little bit let's see what that's gonna do okay it's gonna bring out that color even more that's what it just did yes it did okay I think I'm gonna add a tad bit more Oops, I said a tad I can't get none on the stick another little tad there And mix it good see that's just the black is bringing out the color because it's a color shifting powder so as you can see it's bringing out that color I don't know if y'all can see it but I can I'm gonna put a tad bit more And that's just bringing out the color of the micas. Now these might turn out really light. And they might not. We will see. And we do put some glitter in there. I do see the glitter coming through it. So we will see. Just want to make sure it gets blended really well. We don't want no mica powder stuck in there nowhere okay all right well here goes nothing uh, I think I'm gonna start right here over these little rock Oop. try to get him to sink down in there where those rocks are I'm really hoping this is enough resin. And it might not be. Might have to borrow. Oh, no. I think we may be gold in here. We'll see. I think we might be all right. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay with a one and a quarter ounce of resin in each one. Yes perfect amount oops <laughs> now I'm just making messes where's my paper towel yeah that that was a good amount perfect hopefully I didn't ruin it with the black but I think the black is just gonna make that color shift a little more colorful I guess we'll find out we're experimenting Okay, 
so at least we had enough to cover the entire thing with that yes we did perfect and it is slightly domed it's not dome dome but it's slightly domed perfect okay so I'm just going to wipe this stick off and use this for the next one which will be the okay that was the opal green the next one will be the phantom blue and this one actually looks like it has less resin in it so oh, then I'm going to get the sparkle so maybe I will borrow just a little bit from him might have to put some more sparkle in that one I'm going to put two big scoops in here of that one and that's the phantom blue ooh, Michael powder flying okay oh my word <laughs> well I guess I'll just put him in this one since um he wanted to jump ship there and it's already in the mold now so I, I'm gonna put a little bit of black in this one as well if I can get a little bit on here just a little bit and get him mixed in see that black brings out the color shift it really is I don't think the black is gonna take over at least I'm hoping not little bubbles there coming up I guess I'll spray the mold a little bit he don't want to pop there we go he didn't want to cooperate Hopefully I don't muddy these by putting the black in, but we'll see. So change of plans, instead of doing this one in the blue, I guess we'll be doing this one since it done jumped over here in it. And I don't think I'm going to put any more black in this one. I think that was good. Yeah. I think that was good. I don't want to put no more in that one. Okay. So, we'll start with this up here again. Hopefully there's enough because I kind of did borrow from the other one. He was a little low. Hello everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I realized that before I could, when I was pouring this one, well I didn't realize until the end that the camera had went off because Yes, I forgot to charge the camera again, so y'all did not get to see me pour these two. So, I did the same as these. I added a small bit of black mica powder to this, but after thinking about it, I should have just added maybe a little alcohol ink. I don't know how these are going to turn out, but with this one, with the gold one that I used... I did not add any black to this whatsoever, but I did add extra seriously shimmer so I will say it took a little longer for these to dry because I did not put it on anything so it just took a minute a little bit longer for them to dry but we're going to demold and I I did take I had some of this left over so to fill this up I went on and just threw it in there I don't think you're even gonna see it from the front but we'll find out in a moment so we we are going to demold the little fishes and see what we have 
very easy to demold I will say that came out nice and clean a little bit of overage there not a lot of overage because I, I I don't like a lot of overage okay this was the oh you know what I don't put them back let me grab them real quick I try to clean up after myself afterwards because other than that my desk would be a hot mess <clears throat> excuse me <clears> oh <throat> goodness I feel like I got something stuck in my throat okay so this one was the green the opal green and it's from doodle hall this is the I guess I forget what they call it the transitioning mica powder or whatever they call it but I take them out the packages because I hate those plastic packages but that's what this is and I added just the slightest of black mica powder to it and some of the seriously shimmer oh and he's upside down oh uh, you know what I mean to be it looks good I actually don't mind the mica powder like that it looks good but the the rocks that I used did not show up quite as bright as I would have liked them actually maybe because they were the the black and the gold but I, I do like the color of the mica powder and it was already shimmer honestly I don't even think I, I really don't see the glitter except from the back of it but without putting that little bit of black mica powder in there I think it would have came out a whole lot lighter but I was hoping to get some more gold and stuff in here but I did not I mean it's still pretty though I like it I love the shimmer in this and it is a it's not really a color changing but it will change some and the eye has a little bitty bubble right there but not bad I mean overall the only thing I'm a little disappointed in is the rock or the metal that I use I'm not still not quite sure what that stuff is but other than that, I'm really pleased with the color of this. This is really pretty. Mixed with a little bit of black. That is really pretty. I mean, this looks really pretty too. I just wish, I thought it would have stood out a little more. That's what I kind of mean. I wish it would have stood out a little bit more. Okay, now this one was the Phantom Blue. This one was the Phantom Blue. And this one had the different color rock on it. Alrighty. Let's see. Oops. I'm just doing all kind of stuff today. <sighs> Try to keep it on the white background so at least you can see the fishes. Okay. Let's see. Overage not really I saw a little string there okay let's like I said I see the glitter coming through on the back but I don't think now this one looks a whole lot better and that's because I can actually see the color in here even though it's not every you know like I knew there were spots missing and I was cool with that and I feel like the eye is out of place but yet in the mold if you look and see where the mold is, that is where his eye is. So yeah, I just feel like that's a little out of place there. Yeah, I just because his eye is like, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little off-centered there. But that's the way it is. So, but this one turns out really good too. And I did get some little bitty bubbles right in here. Oh yeah, and some in there. But they kind of look like the design of the fish, to be honest with you. But I'm kind of glad that I added some mica powder to them. Oh, I keep putting him upside down. <laughs> I keep putting him upside down. Let's see, I actually like this with this color. And this one with this one. 
it really does look good but I don't see the glitter through it and that's probably because it's already shimmery but on the back I can actually see the shimmer through it all right so that's those two now I'm just going to do all three that I put the black mica powder in At least they come out demolded good. And this one had no overage as well. Oh, okay, what was the name of this one? This one was Gin Fizz. That's pretty too. Yes, it is. Now see, I'm liking these rocks more than I am these. But I will say, I don't think these... Well, yeah, they would have went with that color as well. But I still like this with this one. But this is more like a, well, I guess gin fizzy. I mean, it is shimmery. I don't know if you could tell how shimmery it is embedded in there, but it is shimmery. I think the next time I'm going to just push that eye up, even though that is the way it's centered in the mold. But I think I'm going to just go on and color it all the way up to there because it looks a little funky. But that's the way the mold is. And I still keep getting those itty bitty bubbles in those circles. I'm wondering if they're just getting trapped. Oop, I cannot hold anything. I'm wondering if they're just getting trapped in there. And I had sprayed the molds. One thing I, I you probably didn't see either. I did spray the molds with alcohol before I poured these. But honestly... I like them. It's, it's they're like pastels. They're honestly pastel, which I knew they wouldn't be like a dark green or blue. I knew they was gonna be pastelly. And honestly, if I hadn't put that itty bitty bit of black mica powder in there, they would have been lighter than this. Now this one was the golden glass. I already knew I wouldn't need no, no black in this because it was it, I could tell it was nice and golden and yellow so I left that alone I figured I would not put no no um no black in this at all because I did not want to muddy the gold and it was already popping through even without anything these really weren't until I added until I added a little black mica powder to them, these colors really stayed like opaque. They did they they weren't showing a lot of color, but this one was. Okay. I wish I'd have got a little more in there. The stones, but I really like the golden one with the stones, these black and gold stones. Now this one looks good. And it was actually supposed to be these two with the golden stones and these two with these stones but it's okay because see I'll just match these two up and they actually look really pretty together I like these two colors I will say the golden glass and the um, green opal I mean the opal I keep saying it backwards opal green these two I would say are my favorite ones only because the color really shows nicely so those two can pair up together but these eh, they okay and I only say that because the colors you know that that's all not my favorite but they're still nice they're still nice well, we can we can do that and that or they can just all group together but honestly these two right here are the prettiest and like I said the, the next time I don't care what the mold is I'm putting the eye more into this circle yeah so but I still think they turned out really great I really do like these rocks and I just this was just I wanted to just try this because the last time I tried um, I think I used the voodoo purple because with the doodle hog 
It's a 52 piece set of mica powders and it comes with these that I guess start clear but if you brush them on the mold and then back them in black the color shows through but I had used this is citrus kiss I have but the last time I used this this is like a frostbite it's got like a purplish blue hint to it but the last time I used this one I had brushed it just like you would any other you know like color changing or chameleon powder I had brushed it into the mold but then when I brushed it in the mold and backed it in black it was just there was no really it was just like using regular mica powder it was that that's what it was it really didn't show that shimmery effect with it so I was like let me try to just mix it in to the resin now I will say these this one is the sparkliest of them all the green the opal green these this one doesn't really have a sheen like this one does and this is the one that didn't get any black mica powder in it at all and it's got somewhat of a, a sheen to it but what I mean by like you know how some mica powders are shimmery yeah, this is the shimmy, sh shimmiest, shimmeriest one of them all. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to try these to see how it would be if you mix them in with resin. Okay, on another note, from yesterday's video of my um, skull snail that still didn't have antenna when he came out so I was playing around with him today and I shined his little shell but I did not put any on the snail area but I did shine his snake his his snail his shell and you know I colored the, the eyes in with black so what I did was just go on and grab me some um the um UV resin the um well lord I can't think the um <laughs> the let's resin high velocity and just mix some silver glitter in it and just put it in his eyes because with the black in there it just felt like it was so sunken in to where it didn't show any definition now I didn't do his teeth or anything which you really can't even see where his teeth are now but with his antenna he has some now even though they look a little funky but that's okay I found a left set what I did was start it by I just trimmed them off to where they would be flat the two front ones I just took a little UV resin that I colored up and took my time and dot after dot cured each little drip that went on there I think this one got like three drips these two back here I put a little white pearl in and then I dripped I think it was like maybe five or six drops on top of that pearl and built it up which kind of I mean he's already he already looks like a weird little snail anyway so why not give him a little more character but I think he turned out really cute in the after fact but you know what I'm not giving up on this snail because for some reason I just think this mold is just too cute and he's small but I am determined and I've heard already from a viewer that they have the same mold and they have the same problem with his antenna they cannot get them to come out so I'm determined to figure out what I need to do to get these antenna to come out of this mold and actually I think the problem is is that the resin is not getting into there even though I've done poked it in there and this that and the third I'm still determined to come out with some kind of solution to getting these antenna on this snail properly one way or another but yeah he turned out nice and shiny not sure if you can really tell on camera hopefully you can I know he's got some weird looking eyeballs I could have probably left out the pearls 
but honestly the pearls were going on for, on there first and then I was like hmm there's a hole on top of this pearl I don't want to see the hole up there I was like let me get some UV resin and then it just started building up but he looks funky <laughs> and he's still cute yeah but um I think the eyes came out better with because they were so sunken in you can see I kind of filled them up see how sunken they were but see with this you can really tell all the definition and of course you can't you can't tell with just poured white glitter and I knew that but I just wanted a glittery snail I mean now I could take a marker and go in between all these little just like little lines and go in there but I'm not going to do that but you could if you wanted to you could even take a the the UV resin and just swirl it in just the, where the the swirls are, but I'm not gonna do that because I think he's just cute, just like this, and he's going into my little flower bed where my peppermint is growing, and he can hopefully ward off and all the other snails that may come through. But yeah, I think he turned out better. And like I said, I left the bottom part of the slug part matte. I just did his shell. And it's smooth and shiny now. And I think his little antenna, I think they they match. And they're good and hard. They're not popping off. And they match some of the blue that's in the glitter. But that, that heaven glitter is awesome. I'm not going to lie. It, it really is beautiful glitter. But all right, I just want to get this done. Like I said, it just took seemed like forever for these little fish, and you see how thin they are. But then they're thick, so all this was cured, like the thick part of it. But these little tips here, this and in here was still very soft. So yeah, but they're they're nice and hard now. But it just took so long to get these tips. What is this? Oh, it was a little jewel in there. I was about to see. Oh, there's a little jewel embedded right in there. So I, I think some of the, I guess they're colored in ink because I can see some of the dye coming out. So I guess they're colored with inks. Yeah, and some of the, some of the red bled through there. Yeah. I mean, I still think this one's my favorite. But like I said, the next time I'm going to go on and center that eye. Or use a bigger... Not even if I use one of these sequence. I, whatever I do, I'm going to... I'm going to... Um, do all the way to here. Because it just kind of looks odd with his eye right there. So I'm going to just do all that next time. Not this circle. But I will be doing all of that as his eye, I believe. I mean, when it's standing up like this, it doesn't look weird. But when it's laying down, it kind of looks a little weird. And there's a bubble right there. I'm not going to worry about the bubble. I mean, I really do love this. I know I'm, 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 I'm petting the fish. Well, all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the little fishies. Fish nuggets. They're fish nuggets. I think they'd be beautiful. You could. The only, the only thing I plan on doing, I'm going to put a little hook on them in the back here. And I'm just going to hang them up. You could use them around the house. They would look adorable in a the bathroom. They really would. But yeah. Or you can add them to something else. Even, even a, a picture frame or something as well. But I think they turned out adorable. Not really liking this color mixed with resin. But I will say these three are good. But this one I would not mix in resin again. It just, I don't know. I don't even get the shimmer off of it. Now, I might not see the shimmer. But the camera probably picking up some kind of shimmer. I do love these though. These little metallic beads or rock 
books I'm not even sure what they call but I will try to link if they still have these I will link everything the doodle hogs and then you can I can't remember what they call I know it's not interference powder I just cannot remember what they actually called them and I haven't looked but I will use the link and I just use what resin did I use I just use regular resin on this one the um I think I showed a picture but I'll do the resin link as well all right you guys I am going to go to bed now because it's like 1 30 in the morning yes it's 1 30 in the morning like I said this took forever to dry so until um next time which I'm trying to do a video every day even if it's a small video I'm trying to do one every day at least you know something that doesn't take too long and this is probably gonna be a long one because I keep rambling on but anyway don't forget to like share and comment thank you so much for watching I appreciate every last one of you and until next time, I will see what kind of mold I can pick out. I plan on doing a new mold again because I have a few molds that have I have gotten that I have not done yet that I want to do. So, I will be doing a new mold tomorrow if all goes well. And I will see you then. Bye.